One important aspect of managing autism in adults and children is developing calming strategies. Calming strategies for autism can help during overwhelming social situations and even at home during stressful periods. Keep watching to discover a few calming tips for parents and caregivers. Use sensory objects. Sensory objects and toys are perfect for soothing the early stages of a meltdown. They can help decrease sensory overload, even if that seems counterintuitive, and provide a helpful distraction for the person with autism. There are plenty of sensory toys on the market if you want something convenient. Slime and fidget toys are popular options. They're easy to fit into a pocket or handbag, so they're great for on-the-go use. Anything that triggers the senses is going to work, however, so if you don't have a sensory toy on hand, don't worry. Sweets, music with headphones, temperature objects like ice or hand warmers, and sunglasses can all be effective. Basically, you're looking for something that will cause a new sensory experience to take your loved one out of their bad sensory experience. Provide an escape. If it's possible to do so, remove your loved one from the situation at least short term. Having an escape route pre-planned will comfort them because they'll know that they don't have to stay in an uncomfortable situation, which will make them feel safer. If you don't have a pre-planned escape route, try to keep an eye out when you're out and about. Look around for quiet places or exits. In a pinch, a family restroom is a great escape destination because your loved one can be alone. If there's no obvious way out or clear, quiet place, try to find a tucked away corner. Even taking a lap around the location can be helpful if you can't actively leave. Offer distractions. Distractions won't always work as autism calming strategies, but it's still a good idea to have a few in mind when you know you're going to be in a stressful situation. First, try to bring up a favorite subject of theirs. Many people with autism have special interests. Those interests are sure to generate excitement and conversation, and that can be more than enough to distract your loved one from a stressful situation. You can also redirect their attention. This will provide a brief break that may be enough to calm them down. Try breathing techniques. You can also combine breathing techniques with other soothing techniques for even greater benefits. Meditation is fantastic for many people with autism. If meditation isn't convenient, combine breathing techniques with grounding exercises. Grounding exercises also pair well with sensory objects. Talk to your loved one's therapist or doctor about breathing or grounding exercises they'd recommend. They may be helping your loved one with these exercises during session. Exercise and movement. Outdoor chalk paths, similar to hopscotch paths, can be effective ways to help an individual calm down. You can also add small hurdles and challenges to the path, like things to step over or jump on. When you have more time, you can encourage an actual exercise session. Running, jumping, and doing strength exercises will stimulate your loved one with autism and help them calm down. Are you looking for more ways to calm down an autistic child or adult? At Daybreak, we can help. Contact us to learn more about our services that can help your loved one thrive. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.